Good everyone, look at this video. Today we have a event vehicles episode on the AR196 A3. This is a German event vehicle that was around a only about it was about two years ago, wasn't it? For this thing, it's it's been a while for this thing. Yeah, Operation Summer 2020. I honestly couldn't remember when this thing was, but um, yeah, this was a plane that a lot of our guys in the Discord server was very happy to see, and well, I was definitely one of them because I love me a float plane. But the problem is, is that the A3 isn't the variant that I would really want to own. It would be the Swedish A5. However, this one is a little bit wrong. But if you go watch my premium review on this, you'll know what I mean. Because trust me, grinding this bomb load skin with 250 kilogram bombs ain't happening. I can assure you that. I am not doing that. But yeah. So, what is the AR196A3? Well, it, as I said, it was an event vehicle float plane, and it was the low tier reward for Operation Summer in 2020. Obviously, this is during the, shall we say, the certain flu that was going around. Well, it's not really a flu, but you get my point. Um, the certain thing that was going around, and they were giving out lots of cool things. Let's just say that, well, they were giving out lots of cool things whilst that thing that was going around was currently happening and still kind of is so yeah that's when obviously this vehicle came around and a lot of players were very eager to see this vehicle added to the game and well it definitely did do some work however you did obviously have to deal with the fact that this vehicle has a certain cannon which none of us really like and that is the MGFF, not the FFM, because if it was the FFM, I would keep my mouth shut. But no, we have the FF, which is basically an Orlikan 20mm. And it's not great, say the least. 60 rounds of cannon in each gun. And then we also have the 7.92 in the nose here. We also have Hans in the back, man, and his trusty MG15. And of course, the 250 kilogram bombs as well. This isn't a bad vehicle, but the Swedish A5 would basically replace this thing for me. But of course, the A5 in Sweden is wrong. And of course, that's actually a Finnish aircraft, but you get my point. But anyway, let's get in and let's get cracking. Oh, that's better. My throat's been sore all morning. And I've got so much stuck in it, but that nice cold drink has just helped very nicely. But yeah, this is a plane that isn't like particularly amazing, but like it's fun. And that's what I tend to look for anyway. But yeah. It's it's a fun plane, but like it's one of those that could be better. I said that a lot about a lot of vehicles to be honest, but well, that's just that's just it really like a lot of vehicles could be better in the game if Gaija would actually let them the problem is with the a3 in germany is it can't really get much better that's why i want them to fix the finish one and then i won't be complaining because i'll just play that one if i fancy flying an arado 196 and plus germany could actually use the a5 as like maybe a premium itself i don't know but anyway so of course with this sort of aircraft, given we have the guns that we do, even though they are MGFFs, yeah, we're going to be going fighter mode. So, uni on the 792, stealth on the 20, I would actually advise 400 gun convergence, but I was lazy. So, don't worry about that. But yeah, this is, this is going to be a relatively okay match. I mean, there's nothing that would really concern me on the enemy team. Probably the most scariest thing for a 196 to fight is a Chaika, but luckily they don't have Russia on their team. The only other thing is the V... the... no, it's not the V. The SB2U3 for America. That thing is a nasty seal clubber at times. The keyword there is at times. It's not always a seal clubber, but... And speaking of the devil, well, well, not the actual devil, but you get my point. The SB2U2. I'm not too worried about that. 
And there's another one. So that's their four bombers. Two SB2U2s, a Hampton, and a B18. I'm not worried about any of these. But since he's going towards our uh, BV138, I will engage him. And it looks like he wants a dogfight, which is interesting. So we're actually going to use a little trick, which I use in zeros, to see if he falls for it. That's fine. It's only a slight ding. Now I think he does outturn us. So we're going to have to use the flaps and our low speed handling here. Yep, there we go. Our low speed handling will help us here because we actually handle better than him at low speed. Now bear in mind, these are 20mm cannon slugs. They're not exactly light. And yet all I got was a crit. Alright, you can start off. I'm not chasing you. Uh, you might want to pull up, mate. You know, it's kind of... Okay, he's not pulling up. That's fine. Scratch one. Here comes an F3F, which I really don't want to deal with. These little fuckers are nasty as well. And he just one-shot my engine! With a very poorly aimed 50 cal, because yes. Ow. We have to try and jingle bomb him with 50 kilogram bombs. You know what, no, we're going to do this the old fashioned way. Hans. I was going to say, don't use your fucking Luger. Well, that's us done for, but... We took him with us. I want to make sure he doesn't do anything else. There we go. Yeah. When someone gets locked like that, we both go down seal clubber. Imagine thinking this plane is a seal clubber. <laughs> That was over quick. I will see you all in match two, and hopefully we don't run into this guy again, because I don't think he's going to be too pleased with me. See you in a moment. Well, welcome back. All you've missed is a team kill on the enemy team for some reason. I don't know why. I'd love to know why that guy thought I was seal clubbing in a, in a 196. Like, this, this thing isn't anything but a clubber. But, to be fair, anyone who plays this low tier and, um... And, well, anyone who plays this low tier and is a high level tends to get called a seal club no matter what you play. I once got called a seal club for flying, funny enough, an SB2M when I was level 80. So, uh, yeah. Don't ask me how that works. I have changed my gun convergence to, um, 400 meters. I... Okay. Um,. Yeah, I've changed my gun convergence to 400 meters. I'm going to give it a try and see if it makes any difference, but I doubt it. Plus, I really don't want to engage an SB2M from the front, but, well... Looks like the 400 meter convergence is making a difference. Scratch number one. That was quite anticlimactic, because I was actually quite concerned about that guy, and then he just turns out to be... Instant pilot's night because 400 meter convergence. So, I guess that's something. Right, next up is Mr. Chaker. Is he going to pitch up for me? Yes, he is. Now, I could wait for him to stall, but that's boring. Plus, it's more satisfying to do it like this. And if you counted the amount of black puffs, on that kill there, put it in the comments below and you might win a postcard, I don't know, we'll, we'll think of something. Next up is the Chinese Gladiator. I've already gone through half the cannon ammo to kill a biplane and a freaking SB2M. Well there goes him, you ain't putting that one out buddy. This thing can be good. The problem is once 
you lose all your altitude. Uh, good luck getting it back, is all I'll say. Like, seriously, good luck getting it back. And this teammate is setting up two targets for me. Easy one's going to be the Glad. And I'm sort of glad he did that for me. Oh, Jesus. And yep, here comes the cavalry. What is it with the goddamn engine on this thing taking a single bullet and dying? Well, nearly dying in this case. Like, it's practically dead, but you get my point. Like, have they changed this thing or something? Like, I don't get it. This thing never used to be like that. Apparently I can't even whip a shit today. There we go, double fire. Eat this. I'll take it. That is six kills. <laughs> Of course, yeah, I was about to say, Timo was coming in to steal it. Yeah, this this is just something you muck around with every so often. You don't drag this thing out because it's good, like, well, good in a sense of comparing it to the meta aircraft of this sort of BR. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things, really. But yeah, this these aircraft can definitely well this aircraft can definitely do some work. Same with the finished one, but um, it's one of those things where it can do some work, but then it also can't because it meets meta vehicles. But that describes a lot of the vehicles in game, so that's not really a fair assessment. But next up in the series is going to be something that I think even Harry will not find any reason to complain about. The Fogger Wolf 189A1. And well, we still don't have the option to take the bombs off this thing, but to be fair, they're fart bombs anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that. But I hope you enjoyed seeing the 196A3 in action again. It's been a while since I've actually used it. But um, yeah, I just want the Finnish A5 one to actually get its armament properly. Anyway, I'll leave you all to it for today, and I will see you all on the next one.